Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer and Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 32. And I've done a little bit of off-camera progression, but no eternity challenges, just eternity points and time theorems here. This is why I can get, I already got some time theorems off-camera, but I can get four additional, which I think that's like 13 more than what I originally had, which is kind of crazy. And because of how the active path works, just crunching like this actually gets me even farther and it's enough to get another time theorem and i don't think it's quite enough for me to easily be, be getting e nine hundred forty thousand ants in my arm and, but that's okay at this point because i have so many time theorems and i'm getting so many attorney points i could just buy max i have 40 time theorems that's enough for eternity challenge three i'm also going to say i'm, I'm, I'm going to save this and then, like, rename it as, I don't know, pre-EC, except I'll just do EC0, because, or, no, no, actually not EC0, I'll do EC2, because I think Attorney Channel 2 is infinity dimensions are disabled, but at time dimensions. So, here we go, I'm going to be getting Attorney points, I need E975 infinity points from this, and yeah, they're, they're, this is no problem, especially with all the Replicanti speed boosts, I can get Something like E1050. So, there we go. We can just go into this again. And, I mean, we can see how, how much I can actually get from the challenge. So, it just gives me the another Infinity Dimension Auto Buyer. It's pretty normal. I'm just going to try Eternity Challenge 3 because that's probably also pretty easy. It's probably even easier than 2. 2 does get a little bit tough at times. So, yeah, there we go. This is like really no problem and going here gives me a per 10 dimension multiplier increase so i can i can probably go into these again honestly like e675 is no problem for this so that's what i'm gonna do here so it might might look a little bit bleak for now but then as the replicated galaxies build up it just gets better and better and it's just enough i think to beat the challenge yeah, here we go. So now I have an even better per 10 dimension multiplier. And now this is where things get a little bit different. And we're going to go into a normal idle path because Eternity Challenge 4. And this time with no infinity grinding, which is just huge. So I'm going to save this and then just do idle here. And then go into Eternity Challenge 4. This is probably going to be really easy. I mean, I should probably disable this because I'm using up all my infinities. And the, the point of this challenge is with the infinities. So the thing is with... I don't have any infinity grinding because I have banked infinities right here. I have like 300 million of them because of, of the reality upgrade. Of just how good this is. It's 6.8 times infinity gains times this 5 infinity. Times five infinity gain, and there's just no problem with this. I can probably do a whole nother completion of this challenge, honestly. So that's what I'm gonna do. I need actually, I, just, I need e3300 infinity points. This really shouldn't be that bad. And like, if worse comes to worse, like we got okay, we don't got eternity point multipliers, we got time dimensions, and we okay, we don't have any extra time. Actually, we do have extra time theorems. Here we go. I also don't know why 33 is on there. Maybe I... Whatever. It it doesn't matter all that much, honestly, because 31 is completely useless. And it, this also shouldn't be too bad. Here we go. Challenge complete. So the reward for this challenge is just an infinity dimension multiplier based on unspent infinity points. So now we're going to go back into this build. So we can do Eternity Challenge 2 again. Or maybe not 2, maybe 3 is better because of this just massive infinity dimension multiplier. Except it's based on unspent infinity points, so that might actually not be the best idea. Whatever, maybe I'll just turn this into a normal, normal time theorem run where I just get time theorems. And there's nothing wrong with a run like that as well. So E5000 infinity points. And just a few time theorems here and there to respec on next eternity. And we can do something like eternity challenge 5. 
So this is just like the galaxy scaling starts immediately. It really doesn't matter much because this is, challenge is probably going to be a complete joke anyway. And yeah, E700. I can get actually even way more than that. I can get all the way up to E850. The reward is five galaxy antimatter galaxies later. So it's just pretty cool stuff. We can probably even do a tourney challenge six, which also isn't going to be that bad. I still might want to go infinity dimension. I'm not really sure. So this is the, yeah, it kind of reminds me of attorney challenge five. It's just like I can get more replicated galaxies. So this, this would probably be something where some of the replicanti stuff would be really good. I'm also going to get 151 and 41 seem pretty good. And then I'll go for something like 62 and shouldn't be too bad. I hope the challenge goal is E850. We can get time study 33 again, but I don't know how much this is actually helping. I'm only up to E480, 490 infinity points, which means only one replicated galaxy every four seconds somehow this just doesn't look like it's within the realm of possibility unless i just wait a long time for the replicated galaxies also this is a good, as good of a time as ever to check out how good this upgrade would be cosmo cosm cosmically duplicate which i'm gonna be getting most likely next reality it's replicanti speed is multiplied based on replicanti galaxies it seems like it's about two percent per galaxy and it might actually be exactly 2% per galaxy, now that I'm looking at it more and more. So it isn't really all that powerful for eternity challenges, unfortunately, but it'll be powerful later on. And I really think this challenge is impossible. Like, even with this many replicated galaxies, it's only, like, upper 500s in the orders of magnitude, which means that maybe... Stuff like the Eternity Challenge 1 reward is mattering more than I think, even though it's kind of a crappy reward. Like, I can do this, and this will go down to one second, so maybe that's actually worth it to just keep getting this down so I can get replicated galaxies quicker. But I really don't think this is going to get me very far. Yeah, this gets me to E678, which makes it... So that at least the replicated galaxies are quick, but that doesn't really solve the problem of, you know, how far I can actually reach. Well, actually, maybe it does. I'm up to E783, so it's going to be pretty close. E835, there's another replicated galaxy, and boom, challenge is actually complete. I didn't think that one was possible, but anyway, I, I could do it. So maybe this is time for something like a... Turn the challenge two again, because why not? I haven't done that one in a long time, and this kind of looks like a joke. And like I could probably maybe even get another completion. Uh, okay, no, another completion is not possible, but the challenge is possible, so that's pretty cool. I can go into eternity challenge three again. That that wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, this this hopefully shouldn't be too bad. It's e seven fifty, which is a Around when the replicanti starts getting very, very quick instead of very slow. Because, yeah, 1.6 per second. This gets me down to 2. Point, or it gets me up to 2.3 per second. And gets me to max. So I'm getting 3.4 per second. It looks like this challenge is barely possible. So that means no double completions here. I could even try going for something like a Tony Challenge 4 again. I'm not sure how useful that is. I might just want to grind more, like, time theorems at this point. I should also put my efforts into eternity points. So, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn me 10 times so I can get the time study 121 multiplier up. And then I can do the thing. And also, I... Oh, my God. I can't believe this. I should have mentioned this in the earliest part of the episode. I grinded eternities. Why did I not tell you this? I have 400,000 eternities. It's overkill. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I forgot that. It's probably because I was doing some off-camera progression, and I kind of somehow assumed that you know you'd all know about it, even though that is obviously not the case with that. So anyway, that's kind of an oversight on my part. Sorry about that. At least I'm remembering now instead of like 
forgetting to say it through that the entire episode. So with this, I can get that's like six time theorems right there. I can probably get even a little bit more, but that's gonna help for some stuff like Eternity Challenge four and five. So I think it is time to Eternity and then respec go here just so I can do Eternity Challenge four, but with one seventy one and. It, yeah, this is gonna be easy, I think. At least I hope. The first infinity, that's probably enough to get all replicated galaxy. It's a little slow. I'm just gonna do this. It's fine. I have eight infinities I can use. I have four spare time theorems. I don't know if you gain replicanti three times faster, but since I've idle, I should probably focus on we'll see by max. I can get this and this. That will all help at least a little bit. And getting there in just eight infinities. Yeah, this is no problem. I have three more infinities to get all the way to E3850. Boom, challenge complete. Probably time to go to Eternity Challenge 5 now. It means I can probably do stuff like uh let's see, I gotta do gotta do the math right. Maybe I'll just do this. Okay, I guess it works out exactly. It can't go any farther than 111, but then the next three studies are completely useless for this challenge anyway. So I need E1150 uh, infinity points. Hopefully that's not a problem in this challenge. At least I hope. I don't have any of the Replicanti upgrades here, so it's still a little bit slower to get Replicated Galaxies, but that shouldn't be that much of a concern for this challenge. And yeah, this is... I'm, overshooting it by a fair margin although i don't know if it's actually enough to beat the next iteration of the challenge because it kind of scales up quickly so now what do i do maybe eternity challenge 7 which is 115 time theorems or is that it's the crazy antimatter one so i'm gonna do something like this and say oh not export i want i want to save and then call this ec7 now, maybe this will also be EC11, but whatever. I I don't even know. I, I can still get a few more and stuff like this. Cannot get 151. That's okay for this challenge. And it's, it's just... Oh, yeah, it's the time dimension produces in thin dimensions. Blah, blah, blah. It's, this is probably one where replicanti speed would be pretty good. Or at least would be better than some of the others. So I'll get that. And this challenge is a complete joke. Just, just like before. I mean, it's enough of a joke that I can get two completions of the challenge. As long as I reach the requirement. Which, it really, sh hopefully shouldn't be too bad. We'll see. Well, it looks like this is actually impossible, unfortunately. So I better just do something else, like um, maybe a tourney challenge 2 and 3 yet again, or even... Grinding more time theorems slash eternity points. I also totally forgot about a eternity point multiplier here. I don't know how. How did I forget about that? That these those are the best upgrades in in at least at least at this part of the game. Like best individual upgrades that aren't challenge rewards. But it looks like I can get a whole bunch of time theorems this way. It's not really gonna help for all that much, honestly. Like it'll it'll help me get a full tree with like eternity challenge four. But, I mean, some of the challenges, they're really expensive, so maybe they do help, like, especially Eternity Challenge 5. And it looks like I'm going to get up somewhere around 7 to 8 time theorems from Antimatter and Affinity Points. I might even get even a little bit more, because I'm still going up in Eternity Points per minute, and I'm still nowhere close towards E70, but I'm making progress, and that's something. And I kind of wanted to get the last time theorem so I can get to 69. Nice. But I'm just going to, I guess, Eternity? And I'm not even sure what I want to do next. Maybe just something like Eternity Challenge 2. But I'm not sure how good that would be. Like, even with all of this and all of these, like I don't know how... I mean, we could see that that's kind of the point here. It looks like this is actually really close, and erring on the side... Well, I was going to say erring on the side of me not completing it, but 
it looks like I'm erring on the side of completing it. So that was extremely close. Maybe I will do Attorney Challenge 3 next. Which, like, I think at this point, Attorney Challenge 3 is actually easier than 2. So that's kind of interesting. So I just wait for the requirement to get there. I need just E825 infinity points, and I'll, I'll do it. And this, this is, again, the point where replicated galaxies start to get quick, so I can start getting a whole lot. It kind of looks... It's going to be extremely close again. Not as close as last time, but still only a few orders of magnitude, which these kind of challenges, this is probably where the glyph boost is coming in clutch. Like, if I didn't have that time dimension glyph boost, I wouldn't have any... I wouldn't have completed those challenges. So now I think it's time to do five again. Or maybe not. I'm a single time theorem short from getting the you gain more galaxies. So maybe I just want to do something like 30 challenge six. Or I can't afford everything. And I can I can even afford like time study 162. So that, that's pretty cool. This is a challenge where I probably want Replicante speed over the this boost because I'm kind of below the fast replicated galaxy threshold here, and this still might not be possible, which is weird. I mean, the thing is with this challenge, I get so many replicated galaxies that it like eventually starts being good. I mean, especially once I can get lots of replicated galaxies per second, and with this, I will be able to get that. But E1100 is kind of steep. I'm still, still far away from there, and even with this E800, like, I'm now getting the replicating galaxies quickly, but is it enough to actually reach E1100? It might actually be. This, this, this is the really low friction challenge, which means that with all of this, I'm able to reach E1090, which means that the challenge is possible. So there we go. Maybe I want to do Eternity Challenge 7 again, now that I have a few more time theorems to play with, and I can get like 151 and 161, which still might not be enough. Well, it's close, but I am able to get there after several runs. So yeah, the challenge itself is a complete joke, so I don't even need to commentate on this. I don't know why I even am. There we go, challenge complete. And now I think I just want to grind some more time theorems and see where I've gotten. I've gotten a lot of challenge completions. Like a total of 7, 10, it's gone 16 challenge completions. And there's really only 45 to get before E70, or a ma very maximum of 45 before E70. Which means, when I mean E70, I mean E70 eternity points. But all of that means that I'm doing pretty well. 16 out of 40, because we're skipping all eternity challenge 1. Completions and I'm able to get solid progression speeds right now. I mean, we'll see what happens down the line, but I think this is pretty successful. I next episode might be different. Who knows? Stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.